Should I upgrade to Windows 11? In my opinion, no. I'm Woody Huffines, I'm the nurse to go in McKinney, Texas, and this is Tech for the Untechnical. In the last couple of weeks, we have had a significant number of customers that have come in with computers that are essentially doorstops because they tried to upgrade to Windows 11. In some cases, it's hardware specific. Uh, we've had some problems with some Dell and some HP computers where people have tried to go to Windows 11 and gotten a blue screen of death. And what that means is that we have to go in and blow the computer away, uh, back up the data, blow the computer away, reinstall Windows 10, and then send them back out the door. Sometimes it's a, a master boot record versus GPT uh, formatting issue on the disk. Sometimes it's an individual piece of hardware. Sometimes it's a driver. Sometimes it's, well, there's a bunch of different things. But the bottom line is, that Windows 11 is causing problems for our customers right now by people going and changing. In fact, this morning I was talking to a customer. We, we did some work on his computer uh, yesterday. He came and picked it up yesterday and we had done a bunch of work and made it faster and better and he's happy and then he went to a meeting last night and his significant other decided that maybe Windows 11 was a good idea and bricked the computer. So basically he had his computer for about three hours until they tried to upgrade to Windows 11 and now it's back in the shop today and we're going to have to blow it away and start over with an image of his disk because the Windows 11 caused a problem with the computer. Microsoft has a piece of software that you can run on your computer to tell you if it's Windows 11 ready and theoretically it shouldn't install Windows 11 if you're not ready. It doesn't seem to be working pretty well because we've got four or five computers in the store right now where someone tried to upgrade to Windows 11 and ended up with a doorstop. So our advice at the moment is don't upgrade to Windows 11. Windows 10 is doing fine for you. If everything's working, don't introduce something that you shouldn't with Windows 11. Hold off, wait six months, wait a year. Windows 10 is solid, Windows 10 has been performing well, and you've got some time. Don't get in a hurry to change something just because it's new. We have the same problem in the Macintosh world, which I can talk about later, but the bottom line is, nurse to go McKinney, Woody Huffines, says don't upgrade to Windows 11. It's not worth the trip, it's not worth the risk. I'm Woody Huffines, I'm the nurse to go in Frisco and McKinney, Texas. This is Tech for the Untechnical. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Hit the subscribe button, mash the notification bell, share it with your friends, and we'll talk to you again soon.